Hello and welcome to another instructional activity video. This is being brought to you by Godot or the Georgia Department of Education. This is a bite or a mini video. I've decided to name them bites. My name is Tania N. Davis. I am one of the virtual specialists for second grade and social studies. And I want to share a quick video with you on some ideas that you can use in your classroom when you are teaching about the Girl Scouts and Juliet Gordon Lowe. We're going to focus on non-text sources and I want to share ideas with you on things that you can do to help elevate your lessons and get ourselves out of our textbooks, making our learning and experiences for our students be that much more real world. So again, starting with the Girl Scouts, we have their founder, Juliet Gordon Lowe. You can display an image of Miss Lowe. You can do, I see, I think, I wonder with your students. You can talk about her character traits, anything just based off of a photograph. Here are two examples. Here's a postage stamp of the Girl Scouts. Here's one of Juliet Gordon Lowe herself. You might have your students think of different types of questions. What do you have to do to get yourself um, presented on a postage stamp, to have your own postage stamp? What is the process for that? That could be research-based. That could be just wondering and being curious. What about not tying, tying in the Girl Scouts and the different activities and responsibilities that the young ladies have? Do you know how to tie knots? Could you do this in front of your students? Do any of your students know how to tie knots? What types of activities might you need to learn how to tie knots for? What about bringing in a vest that has Girl Scout badges on it? You could talk about the different badges, how you earn them, being independent, survival skills, community-based and helping others. A compass rose would be a great jumping point for a lesson as well, very hands-on. You can talk about map and globe skills, directionality, all of those things. What might a Girl Scout need to use a compass rose for? You could bring in a real life Girl Scout. Maybe you have someone in your community that you trust and feel comfortable coming into your classroom and talking. Or you could do a recorded video that you could share or ask if any of your students in your classroom are Girl Scouts and wouldn't mind sharing their experiences. Then you have Girl Scout cookies themselves. Could you bring in samples or empty boxes or display a poster? Talk about the cost of them. Maybe you have opportunity costs and benefits. Any of those things that you can tie in to Girl Scouts uh, via their cookies and the cookie sales. Why are they selling the cookies? What does the money go towards? What about newsletters or other online resources that might be available to you? Websites, comic strips. These are fun and exciting. You're reading but you're also maybe inferring, digging, digging a little bit deeper. That is a fun activity to do, I think. Photographs. So these could be online or real photographs that you have. What about podcasts that you can use? Maps, hands-on experiences. What direction are you traveling in? What type of, what region is this located in? You could also do a virtual tour. Juliet Gordon Lowe's Home in Savannah has been turned into a historic site and museum, and you could do a virtual tour there. Possibly even bringing in a quote, something that she said firsthand. What does she mean when she stated that any of these resources would be great that you could use with your students for um, having ways to give them experiences that are not text related? Again, we're talking about non-text sources. Thank you for spending this time with me. I hope that maybe one of these ideas was inspiring or exciting for you and that you would dive in and try them out and let us know. You can interact with me by emailing me. My email address is on the screen, as well as all of us on Inspire or Godot, our community site, as well as on Facebook and our Georgia K-2 through Social Studies page. We look forward to interacting with you. Thank you again. Be well.